craziness that's going on. Okay, I mentioned, I'm working, I'm working hard here. Come on, I'm working hard on it. Come on, like, I mean, Bette Midler, you know, White Strips, you know, Jet Rides, Elton John, Jam. I know Ryan Adams covers your tunes. I mean, like, that's kind of funny. <laughs> um, but, you know, tell me, any kind of craziness? Oh, constant craziness. Some of the craziness we just can't reveal to you, because, I mean, it's too crazy. Just a little tidbit, this little teaser here, winding up here, please, Megan, Jack White. Just, you know, just give me an insight into, like, the white strips. Like, you check your cell phone right, message or something. One, one thing I can tell you is that, um, it's kind of, uh, Meg's an android. Damn it, Jack. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, I thought, if you knew, if you just knew, I mean, at the end of every night, how we have to every plug night? her into the, you know, into the tour bus, plug her in, and, and change her oil every three months to keep this band going. Much like Manor Astroman. Where they are from? Outer space! Oh, and you're oh, Meg right. and Jack White of the White Stripes. Jack, your gear is incredible. I should say, it's so awesome when your roadies dress up as you. They kind of dress, like, they wear red and white. I love it. They do? And don't they use, like, red duct tape, too? Like, you've red duct tape! <laughs> we have to keep everything in order now. You know, everything has to, we have to be able to identify everything in, in with, uh, my sight, you know, so. And your Leslie amp, that's really cool, isn't it? The Leslie amp. Oh, Did you like customize the peppermint triple tremolo? Mm. Yeah, like is that going to be on stage here tonight? Oh, it's too heavy. It's like 500 pounds. Yeah. Can you explain a bit about that? Because that's amazing. Like you customize a Leslie amp, right? Yeah, I built it. I found three different components in the garbage I was trash picking, and I I built them all together and made a made a, a speaker cabinet out of it. And it was just a nice project to work on. You know? Does anybody else have an airline guitar? Like you play an airline, right? Well, I got I bought mine from Jack from the Oblivions. Jack Oblivion is his name. He's a from band from Memphis in America. And uh, any uh, other bands you've seen playing, or has anybody got mad at you to playing that? Like you know, some Hollywood Guitar Center dude? No, I don't know. I've never really seen anybody else really play those. Uh, once in a while, you'll see somebody with it, you know. When you guys were on David Letterman, I thought it was awesome that Letterman held up the vinyl record. Oh yeah, we specially asked for him to do that. Yeah. Was that hard to get him to do that? It was, it was because it had to be checked for anthrax before he held it. You know. No way. It, it, there's something crazy for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, the sympathy for the record industry is that like dangerous? It had to be tested for anthrax before he would hold it. I, that's what I was told. Yeah. If there's any doubt that the White Stripes have arrived in mainstream culture, is that you guys are now on GroupieCentral.com. Really? Yes, GroupieCentral.com has a posting of you guys wow. under the subject White Stripes, and it goes, I quote here Jack White, really? I can say that Jack has and will be down for groupie action. I was so fortunate to experience him during one of their tours. Let's just say it happened by surprise and was well worth it. <laughs> he is adequate in size and performance. I think he may like to be ridden, but I requested he ride me. Hmm. And then it goes on to say, Meg's boyfriend is in the green horns. Oh, this it's, is all nothing. You've made it. You're on groupiecentral.com. <laughs> oh, Don't worry, Jack. You can go on groupiecentral.com and post some lies, too, just yes. like they did there. These are pretty good lies. Groupiecentral.com. Are you dating somebody in the green horns at all, Meg? How am I going to come in on my situation? <laughs> and you're not dating Winona Ryder, are you? <laughs> That's the other rumor floating around there, Jack. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> well, thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate their white stripes. Why should people care about the white stripes? Why should people care? Oh, why? I don't know. I don't know why they should care about <laughs> us anymore. Have you ever been to Legoland? No, not yet. Have you had any offers to go to Legoland? We did have an offer to go there once, and uh, we didn't go. I, I don't know why we didn't go. We didn't have time, I don't think. Jack and Meg White, anything else you'd like to add to the people out there? Mmm, um, no. <laughs> no, I guess not. Well, thanks so much. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do the loot do. Mm hmm. Uh, I Actually, mm hmm works. <laughs> um, but that's so like obscure. We'll have you do it again there. Do do the loot do. Do do. No? I don't know. I just. just <laughs> I don't know what here. you mean. <laughs> that's. That's fine. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. That'll be five dollars, please. Okay, great. Actually, Jack, why are you afraid of cars? We want to bring it to the dune buggy. Uh, is a dune buggy a car? Uh, I think it's more like an all-terrain vehicle, mm. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's not a car. We could have had you on the dune buggy. Do you want to step outside this for a second? Well, no. just, just to pose by dune I can come running by and you can run over me. No, no, no.